Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I appreciate your presence here. Thank you for all the prayers you're sending my way. I feel truly uplifted and supported by you. Your encouragement and kindness mean so much to me. I appreciate every one of you. May the Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. If this is your first time joining us, you're welcome. Welcome to our beautiful community. This is the family of God. I pray that this word will bless you in Jesus' name. Let's take a moment to pray before I share this message. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day and the opportunity to hear your word. Thank you, Lord, for your steadfast love and your faithfulness that we enjoy every day. Lord, we ask for your guidance and wisdom today. Open our hearts, Lord, to receive your word and transform our lives through your word. Lord, let your Holy Spirit lead us in understanding and applying the truth of your word. Help us to grow in our faith and draw closer to you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. While I was praying for you today, I heard the Lord say, Remind them that I am competent. The Lord said, Remind them that I am competent. <laughs> what a reminder. Thank you, Father. The word competent means having the necessary ability, knowledge, or skill to do something successfully. It means being capable, being efficient and proficient in handling any situation. In the context of God's character, it signifies his omnipotence, his omniscience, and unfailing ability to accomplish his purposes or do anything. God's competence is unparalleled. He knows the end from the beginning and he has the power to bring his plans to fruition without fail. His competence is not limited by time, not limited by space or human constraints. He operates beyond the realm of our understanding and his expertise is perfect in every way. Thank you, Lord. To be competent is to be fully equipped and capable of achieving results. And that is our God. God's competence means he possesses infinite wisdom and power and his knowledge is exhaustive. When we face challenges that seem insurmountable, this word is a reminder that we are dealing with a God who is not only aware of every detail, but is also fully equipped to handle it. No problem is too big and no situation too complex for him. Our God is more than able to address and resolve any issue, any challenge, any problem. I don't know what you're facing right now that makes you think that God is not competent or he's absent. Maybe it's a financial crisis, a health issue, a broken relationship, or a seemingly insurmountable challenge. You might be feeling overwhelmed by the weight of your circumstances, questioning how anything good can come out of your situation, questioning how breakthrough can happen, questioning how you can be delivered, how, how a way can be made. But this is the word of the Lord for you today. He is competent. Our God is competent. When you feel as if you are standing at the edge of a cliff, wondering how you will ever find a solid ground, remember that God has the power to deliver you. He is fully capable of turning that situation around. Even when the way forward seems unclear, God's competence guarantees that he will guide you with his perfect wisdom. In times of doubt and fear, remind yourself of God's track record 
of faithfulness. He has a track record of faithfulness. He has proven his competence throughout history, even in your own life, from the creation of the world to the miraculous work recorded in scriptures. He parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. He provided manna in the wilderness. He healed the sick, raised Jesus from dead. He has provided for you before. He has made a way for you before. He has come true for you in the past. Each of this act is a proof of his unparalleled ability. His competence means he will never abandon his promises, for he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his ability to meet your needs remains unchangeable. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you are going through right now, whatever you are going through, Remind yourself that your God is competent. He can do anything. He has the wisdom to guide you, the power to deliver you, and the love to sustain you. So trust that his competence will see you through every trial, every turn, and will bring you to a place of victory. Lean not on your own understanding, but rest in the assurance that God's ability is sufficient for every situation you face. He's more than able to handle whatever you are going through right now, regardless of the name, regardless of the situation. He's more than able to handle it. So stand firm. In the knowledge that God who created the universe, God who parted the Red Sea, who made way for the Israelites, is the same God who is with you. And he is guiding you. He's working everything out for your good. I want to encourage you to take some time today to read and meditate on some scriptures that I'm going to read out to you. And let the truth of God's word penetrate your heart. The first scripture is Jeremiah 32 verse 27. It says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? That's a question for you. There is nothing, absolutely nothing too hard or difficult for our God. With him, all things are possible. He has the power, the ability and wisdom to handle any challenge you face. So release to him that situation that seems impossible. That situation where you see no way out. That situation that feels overwhelming and insurmountable. Our God is able. He is competent. I just see the Lord doing the impossible in your life. That which you or the people around you feel is too late. That which seems can no longer happen for you. Whether because of age or because of circumstances or past mistakes, I just see the Lord turning the impossible situation into a testimony for you by his power and by his grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The second scripture is Isaiah 40, 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. God is eternal and unchanging. He doesn't tire or grow weary. His strength and wisdom are limitless, far beyond our understanding. He never grows weary or worn out, no matter the challenge we face. He's always fully capable of supporting and guiding you. So trust him. Trust him. The third scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, but our competence comes from God. Our abilities and strengths are not our own. They come from God. So when we rely on him, he equips us with everything we need. It is through his power and grace that we find our true competence and ability to overcome challenges. So trust him and let his strength be your guide. This is the word of the Lord for you. I pray it encourages you. I pray it strengthens you. Thank you, Father, for the reminder of your competence.
for the reminder of your power, of your ability, of how mighty you are. You are the God who holds all things in your hands and your wisdom and power are beyond measure. We can't measure them. I lift up every person who is struggling today, feeling overwhelmed by their circumstances, having fear and doubt about what they are going through, thinking if you can deliver them or not. I pray that they would experience a fresh revelation of your capability. Let them know that you are more than able to handle every challenge they face. Father, strengthen their faith and let them rest in the assurance that your competence is their guarantee of victory. Lord, I ask that you will pour out your peace upon them right now. Please calm every storm and bring clarity where there is confusion. Father, surround them with your presence. I pray right now that they will feel you that they will feel you around them and let them feel the comfort and assurance of your perfect plan. Father, Lord, I pray that may they be reminded of your past faithfulness and find hope in your unchangeable nature for you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, let them experience your power in their lives in a new way. Lord, bring transformation and breakthrough in every area of need. Father, we give give you all the glory right now for the work you are doing. We trust in your ability to accomplish what concerns us. For we know that your plans for us are good and they are filled with hope. Thank you for being our competent God, our competent Father. Ah, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I declare right now that your competence will be evidence in our lives. Lord, let your competence, let your ability, let your power be evident in our lives in the name of Jesus. And we just praise you right now for the miracles and victories that are to come in the name of Jesus. We receive your word, we believe your word, and we trust you. Lord, we trust you with our needs. We trust you with every situation that we are in right now with every circumstance in the name of Jesus. And we believe that we will see the manifestation of your power in our lives. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.